In this example, we're going to go ahead and solve this proportion. It looks like we have this fraction equal to this fraction. If you'd like to try this first, go ahead and pause the video and do so, and then come on back and we'll work it together. All right, so a nice property that we have for proportions is that we can do cross products and set them equal to each other, and that's the way we can solve this nicely. Okay, and it doesn't matter which one we put on the left side and which one we put on the right side. So maybe let's go ahead and do this one. So we have 18 times, well, this x plus 4, just like the x plus 7, has two terms. So you need to be careful and you need to put those two terms in parentheses because ultimately you'll need to distribute that 18 across. Okay, so that'll equal, and it equals 12 times same thing. Let's put that in parentheses as well. So when we distribute here and distribute here, it looks like 18x plus 72 equals what? 12x plus 84 for those products. All right, so let's get our x's on one side and our constants on the other side. So we can do that by subtracting 12x from both sides because those will cancel and then subtracting 72 from both sides because those will cancel. So it looks like 6x equals 12, x equals 2, and that will be our solution. But of course, let's go ahead and plug it back in and make sure that it works. So if the value for x is 2, we'll have 2 plus 7, that's 9 over 18, and over here we'll have 2 plus 4 is 6, so 6 over 12. Let's just go ahead and reduce both of those fractions. 9 over 18, well that's just a nice 1 half. And 6 over 12 is also a nice 1 half, so it checks out. So in this case, with the proportion, we solve by setting these cross products equal to one another. We distributed across these binomials and we solved in the usual manner. So we saw x equals 2 and we plugged it in and it worked.